There are lots of different PC and motherboard manufacturers out there, but it seems like no matter who you go with, you often see a screen right when you start your computer that says American Megatrends. But despite the fact that American Megatrends seems to be on a huge number of computers, very few of us seem to know who they are or what they do. And it turns out they're not a list of a website catering to people in the US. No, American Megatrends or AMI is a firmware developer. That is to say they make your computer's basic input output system or BIOS. They make the BIOS, which controls the low level operation of your PC and how it interacts with installed hardware. You're probably mostly familiar with the BIOS as that settings program you can access before your computer boots into Windows. And although the BIOS itself has the logo of the motherboard or PC's manufacturer all over it, what's actually going on is that the motherboard manufacturers buy their BIOSes from American Megatrends. But why does one company control so much of the BIOS market? I mean, if you go to American Megatrends website, the homepage even proudly proclaims, without AMI, you can't compute. To find the answers, we went straight to the horse's mouth. So we'd like to thank AMI's Zach Robroff, Terry Otsubo, as well as Emily Rios for helping us out with this episode. So AMI actually got its start developing motherboards and BIOSes for Dell and continued manufacturing motherboards all the way up until around the Pentium 4 era. Some of their equipment even made it into the space shuttle program, but they stopped manufacturing hardware in the early to mid 2000s after it became clear that it would make more sense from a business standpoint to just focus on firmware. And since then their priority has been to develop advanced features in a generic way. Generic, what exactly does that mean? We'll tell you right after we thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Brilliant is a website and app built around active learning. You can trade boring lectures for problem solving and interactive visuals. There's over 60 courses on everything from astronomy to programming. And one of our favorites is Calculus in a Nutshell. Get a clear sense of the major pillars of calculus with new increased interactive sections. So join a community of over 10 million learners and educators today. The first 200 people who head to brilliant.org slash techwiki will get 20% off an annual subscription. Okay, so developing features generically means it's easier for the BIOS to work with CPUs from both AMD and Intel across different generations and different chipsets meaning different motherboard and PC manufacturers can begin at the same starting point and then adapt AMI's BIOSes to their specific needs. And AMI doesn't just write the low level code. Even the visuals that we're used to today are provided in large part by AMI themselves. What you see in the finished product are the vendor's own CSS-like graphical modifications and skins, such as the Aorus branding on Gigabyte motherboards, or the familiar red and black ROG theme if you're rocking an ASUS based system. Vendors can tweak other things too. The current UEFI BIOS that AMI ships, called Aptio, comes with 50 or 60 features by default. Manufacturers can choose to add up to around 100 more, which is part of the reason you see certain BIOS features on some motherboards but not others. Thanks to the flexibility of AMI's firmware, the company controls around 40% of the PC market today, with most of that being in the desktop and enthusiast space. If you include the server market, that number jumps to a whopping 70 to 80% market share. AMI's main competitors are Phoenix Technologies and Inside Software, the latter of which is widespread in the laptop market. Although it looks like AMI will continue to be known chiefly as a firmware brand for a long time to come, they are looking at expanding into related areas, such as security, including strengthening the chain of trust between the BIOS and the rest of the system, and allowing users to restore the firmware to a known good state if it's tampered with. AMI also hopes that its new security offerings will help mitigate vulnerabilities such as the relatively new Moon Bounce exploit, as BIOSes are quickly becoming popular attack vectors. Speaking of bouncing, I'm gonna go try to smash that delete button before the AMI screen disappears. So see you later and thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up in the comments section with your suggestions for topics that we should cover in the future.